All right, let's go. Oh, dang, right? Yes, yes. Hey, everybody, welcome to Daily Burn 365. As you can see, we got something special going on today. Nice to have you with us. Uh, Saturday is Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day, uh, Liberation Day, Emancipation Day. However you refer to it, this is the day we celebrate the end of slavery in the United States. And you know, on Daily Burn, we always say celebrate every victory. We think this is a victory that we want to celebrate with you as one big fitness family. And we are going to do it with a special workout with some of your favorite Daily Burn trainers. Let's get to it. Boogie! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boogie's up first. I'm going to get out of the way. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. All right. What's everyone? I'm going to get it kicked off with our warm up. But if you're looking for body weight, low impact options, take a look at JD because he's going to give those to you. Monica is also here with us. Yeah. So look at her. She's awesome. All right, so I'm so excited to be here. With all of these people in this room, it just makes me want to, it just, I just have so much energy. I want to reach up to the ceiling, so we're going to do that. Big reach up to the ceiling, I'm going to reach out to the side and hinge at the waist. Ooh, feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Now let's take it back up to the ceiling. Oh, out to the side and over at the waist. A little good morning. Yes, there it is. Good, keep that up there. Big reach up to the ceiling. All of these wonderful, beautiful faces in this room just gets me excited. All, all of this melanin. Yeah. Good. Oh That's all right. Right, now we're going to circle our arms right in front. Right in, right in front here. And you can get a little step in your feet, just finding some movement right off the bat. Now we're going to slowly start to take our arms out to the side. Yep. Now let's bring it back in front. Good, there it is. So warming up our shoulders, making sure they're nice and ready to move with us. And we take it back out to the side, right at your own pace. Now we're gonna make this circle a little slower, a little bigger, and then we're gonna take it back out to the side. Good, back to the front. Now, can we make it a little slower, a little bigger? So I'm gonna take it out. Yes, there it is. Big circles. Ha. Ha. Good. From here, we're just going to shift it side to side. I'm going to shift my hips left. There it is. Left and right. So warming up our glutes here. Nice stretch on the inside of our legs. Awesome work. Good. Now, we're gonna bring our feet center. I'm just gonna grab my right foot, hold it for a second, then I'm gonna switch. Grab the other one, a little quad stretch here. Full body stretch. Good, so take your time with this right now. It doesn't have to be a quick switch just yet. We'll get there though, <laughs> we'll get there. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, from here, we're gonna start to go a little faster. We're just gonna go a little faster. And now we're just going to kick our butts up, up, up. Yes, we're going to start to get that heart rate elevated because I'm going to kick this off with a little strength. So we want to make sure that full body warm, ready. And from here, we're going to take this into just a little run. So it's faster, it's faster. Heels up, heels up. That's right. There it is, full blown run before we get into it. And coming up next, I'm gonna slow my run down. I'm gonna bring my legs in front of me. I'm gonna kick opposite foot, opposite hand. Stretching our hamstrings. Yes, today's all about strength and cardio. That's right, stretch those hamstrings. We have about 15 seconds left here. I love how we're all on rhythm here. <laughs> We're just on that Did beat anybody else that? <laughs> Good. I'm going to grab one of my weights in three, two, one. So we're going to start it off with strength, a halo. So strong core, strong stance. I'm going to bring my dumbbell around my head and to center and then around the opposite way. Come with me when you're ready. So nice, strong stance here. Core is engaged, so not letting your hips move around. Do you notice how all the trainers came with you right away? Like, they didn't wait for you to say go. <laughs> they just went. 
Good, pretend like your body's in one plank right here. We are going to take it down to the ground, grabbing our other dumbbell in three, two, one. Grab it, bring it down, come with me. Because I have my legs straight, we're coming all the way to our backs. We have a chest press, straight up over our chest and down. Yes, there it is. We're only here for 30 seconds, so join me when you're ready. Exhale those dumbbells up directly over your chest, not your face. Now, this isn't it. You know, if you know me, you know I like a little combo action, right? I like to make it spicy. We can't just do one thing at a time. So we're going to add on something to this chest press. 10 seconds left here. Squeeze that chest if you do not have dumbbells. We have a full-blown sit-up coming up here. So I'm going to press it up. And then I'm gonna come all the way up for my sit-up, all the way back down. Come with me. Chest press, sit it upright, and all the way back down. Now take a look at JD. He's giving us a crunch for another option here. Good, press it up. Come all the way up and back down. You say spice, so now I'm thinking mild, medium, or hot. Ooh, I was thinking spice <laughs> like a sugar, maybe a little cinnamon. Okay, I see where your head's at, Dink. <laughs> Keep this going here, we're adding on. Once we come down for our sit up, we're gonna rotate our palms, open our arms for a fly, close it, and then lower down for that chest press. So let's try this together. We press it up, sit it up, lower down to rotate your palms, open to your fly, close it, drop your elbows and press up. Now we sit it up. Good, drop it down. Rotate your palms, open up, fly comes over, rotate again, drop your elbows, press it up, full blown sit up. That's right, you got it. O rotate, open, close it, rotate, bring it down, press it up. Now this isn't it. You knew this wasn't it. <laughs> we have one more addition coming up. From here, we're going to press it up. Sit it up. We're going to add on. Lower down, rotate, fly, close it, leg lift, leg lower, huh? Now let's start from the top. We have our chest press. All the way up, sit up, lower down. Rotate your palms, open for your fly. Close your fly, lift those legs, lower them, rotate, chest press comes down, chest press is up. Full blown sit up, you got this. We have 20 seconds left here, rotate, open, close it, leg lift, lower, down to your chest press, and good. Keep it going, sit it up. We have less than 10 seconds left here. And my girl Nikki is going to take over in three, Two, one, go ahead and pop it up to your feet. Woo! Woo. Let's go! I'm already sweating, I'm already sweating. What's up, DB fam? Let's get a little jumping rope coming here. All right, we're gonna jump rope. Now I want you to keep the jump rope, and I'm gonna demonstrate the next three exercises. We're gonna go to a speed skater. Y'all know I love a speed skater. The option, step it out. Then we got high knees. The option, give me a reach and pull. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna hold that squat and we're gonna punch it out. And then you know I got a quick speed coming up. <laughs> you guys ready? Keep jumping rope. Oh, we're yeah. gonna go to that speed skater in three, and two, and one. Let's get that speed skater 30 seconds. Let's go. Now remember, think about pushing off, getting a little tension on that glute, that abductor. Now remember that option. It is so good. Think about intention. We got this, you guys. Woo! Boogie already got me sweating, y'all. <laughs> In five seconds, we're going to high knees. And three, and two, and one. High knees. Come on. Get your inner track star on. Remember the option. Lift the knee. With the option, think about engaging the rectus abdominis, those abdominal muscles. Come on, get those knees up, y'all. How y'all feeling? Woo! We're gonna hold the squat in 10 seconds and punch it out. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold that squat. Let's punch. You know Nikki gonna give you a squat now. Let's go. Punch it out. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go 
to my favorite quick feet and four and three and two and one quick feet come on y'all remember move the arms the legs will follow ha heart rate is up we just getting into it y'all good think about going down with me and then come back up good oh, take it down yeah. with me bring it back up Let's add a little Tina Turner, just a little. Yeah. Culture, We're not going to give it to him yet. Culture, you know. Yeah. And five seconds. You're going to hold the squat. And three, and two, and one. Hold the squat. Pulse it for me. While you pulse and watch me, we're going to go to a squat thrust. The option, kick the leg out, bring it back up. Hold it. Pulse. Breathe. Catch your breath. And five, four, three, Two, give me that squat thrust. Come on, y'all, let's go for it. Good, now, think about when we kick out, remember, revisit that plank. Remember, we have an option. Kick out, bring it up. Think about that plank, you guys. Lift the chest up, hold that squat. You're killing it. Ha, ah, think about that glute. Think about keeping the chest up. Kick out for an option. You guys got this. I want you to think about those abdominals. Think about those squats. Yes, in 10 seconds, we're gonna think about going to the floor, getting a little breath. And three, two, one, take it to the floor. Catch your breath. We're gonna go to the plank position. Now give me a plank jack or step it out. Then we're gonna cross it over, mountain climber or elbow to knee. Everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's get into that plank yeah. position. Get into that plank position. And three, and two, and one. Give me that plank jack. Hey, go for it, y'all. Now, what I want you to think about, getting that plank, keeping that glute down. Think about those abs, all right? Keeping the glutes, the rectus abdominis engaged. Remember that option. Out, in. We got 15 seconds left. Ha! Come on, y'all. Yeah. We got and five this. seconds. We getting cross over climber, three. Two, one, let's go. Let's go for it. Remember, we got an option. Bring the knee in, cross it over. When you do that, we're working on the obliques, rectus abdominis, obliques, and keeping the heart rate up. You guys are killing it. Let's go for it. We're almost there. I want you to think about, in 10 seconds, we're coming back up on our feet. We're gonna revisit the jump rope. In five, four, Three, two, up on your feet. Woo. Jump rope for me. All right. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sweating. Y'all sweating? We're sweating. All right. Just a little. Listen to me. I'm going to call it out. All right. Let's jump rope. In five, four, three, two. Speed skating. Let's go for it. Come on. 30 seconds. This is it. Get that heart rate up. Take it over. Push off that foot. Get that glute engaged. Robin. Let's go. Bucky. Go, girl. Mon, Dane. JD. Y'all at home. We killing it. Going to high knees. Right after this. And five seconds. Five, four, three, two. In a track style. Let's go. Get those high knees. Come on, remember the option. Bring that knee up. Think about that rectus abdominis. Think about those obliques. Keep that heart rate up. Keep the chest up. Lift that knee for the option. Come on, you guys. Right after this, we got squat and hold, and we're gonna punch it out. Come on. Ha. Five seconds left. Hold that squat. Three, two, one. Hold the squat. Hold it. Hold it. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. You guys ready? Punch it out. Extend that arm. Think about those triceps. Take the glute back. Chest up. Ha. Abs tight. Extend that arm. Bring the elbows in. Breathe. I hear you guys. Woo. I Come hear you on. at home. Ha. Last cardio exercise. Yeah. We got quick feet in the Tina Turner. And three. <laughs> and two. And one. Quick feet. Come on. Come on, y'all. This is it. Move those arms. Woo. The legs will follow. Let's take it down. Bring it back up. Hey, take it down. Bring it back up. Move those arms. And ready. 
Peter, turn it y'all. Come on. Here we go. Let's roll in that river. Come on, y'all. Let's turn it. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go the other way. Come on. <laughs> we rolled on that river. Let's bring it back to the middle. We got four seconds. Huh. And three. Woo. And two. And one. Hey. 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 We got our girl Robin. <laughs> Woo. Y'all, let me DMLT get my life together. <laughs> After that, shall we take a second? Okay. One heavy dumbbell is all you need. Let's take it down to the ground. We're gonna start with offset push-up. So your right hand is gonna have the bell, left hand right next to it, eyes out, back flat as always, chest to deck. Join me here, three, two, one. Pressing it out, good. Elbows go back 45 degrees. So remember, team, no ego on your push-ups. Wall, knees, whatever it takes to get your chest down, that's what we're looking for, all right? You wanna stay with it for another 15. You know we gotta do the other side. Of course. Good, yeah. So conserve your energy here. We got eight seconds when we take a breather. Stay with me, we got five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Ooh, Nikki, you got my makeup in my eye. Woo, this is your fault. Other side, <laughs> strong deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's get to work. So we're gonna do all these movements in isolation. Then we're gonna put them together. Love to see it. So make sure your hips aren't staying up in the air. Your hips aren't sinking at any point. Really, really important. Beautiful, keep breathing. Exhale on the effort. We got five seconds. Can you get one more? Can we get two more? Three, yes, we can. two, one. I love it, Dane. Let's stand it up. Weight back into right hand. Feet are underneath your hips. Hips go back, palms face in. Shoulder opens. Elbow comes to the rib cage. Bent over row. Three, two, one. Allow your breath to come back, yeah? Nice neutral gaze. Straight line from the top of your head to your hips. Beautiful, Dane. Squeeze as your elbow comes in. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take a strong exhale as you row up. Good. So our heart rate is high, high, high. Well, at least mine is. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. It's spicy. Yeah. So allow, it's spicy. It's spicy. Yeah. So allow your breath to lower your heart rate just a little bit as we get stronger here. Three, two, one. Quick posture break. Hit a shimmy. Hit a shake. Hey, you don't have to tell Nikki. She's already on it. Three, two, one. Other side. Open up your chest first. Beautiful boogie. Boogie, I want that headband. <laughs> I know, right? Right? Goals, goals over there. 15 seconds. Think about keeping your collarbone spread throughout this movement. Really, really important. Yeah, you never want to be here ever, ever. We got eight seconds. Then we're gonna take it to my favorite. Some overhead work and power. Three, two, and one. We stand it up. Bell back in your right hand. Elbow drives back right to your shoulder. You strict press it up and overhead, just this side. Three, two, one. Shrug, press. So it's a vertical movement. There's tension on the other side of our body. Good. So you never want the bell to swing in front of you. You want to think about it going directly up to your shoulder. Yeah? Elbow drives back. Power press up. Squeeze your glutes. Protect your lower back at the top. Beautiful, Nikki. Good. We got another 13 seconds. Random number, but that's how long we have. So try to get like two to three on this one. We're gonna hit the other side and then put it all together. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and finish up this rep if you were with me. Hit a shimmy, hit a shake. Other side, three, two, one. Let's work. Bow to the shoulder, press. Be careful of over on the low back, right? We don't ever wanna be here. You wanna have your ribs towards your hips. Everything is nice and engaged. Give yourself 20 seconds of strong opportunity with control. Beautiful, nice. Then we're gonna go 45 seconds per side and your magic number is three. I'll show you one just so you know what we're gonna do. Let's get one more. We got three, two, one. Everyone bounce it out while I show this, shall we? All right, it's three push-ups. We stand it up, open our shoulders, three rows. Oh yeah. And then three of your curl to press or your clean to press. Let's go. Starting with those push-ups, three, two, and one. 45 seconds of strong effort. So the word I want you to think about here is accountability, yeah? It's only 45 seconds. 
How are you holding yourself accountable? How are you holding the people in your life accountable? Yeah? Something to ask yourself all the time. Modify as you need to. The goal is to move with good form, not to get as many reps in. Good, we're staying all on one side here. Clean the press. Good, allow your breath to come back as you exhale up. Good. Shall we get one more round? I think yeah. we shall. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Good. The answer is always yes. Let's go. Three on your row. Nice neutral gaze. And we got three, two, one. Go ahead and finish this side with me. We'll go right into the other side. Why not? Let's go. Three, Come on. two, one. Good. Strong push-ups. Good. You may find that one side feels stronger than the other. That's okay. That's why we work them together. Clean, press, nice. Find your rhythm. Believe it or not, that clean and press is your recovery here. Beautiful. Let's go, one more. At least, at least. I say that so we don't stop at one, right? Uh -huh. So, I'm working at my pace. Dane's working at his pace. JD's working at his pace. You do you, yeah? This is your time, your workout. We let it go in three, two, and one. Let that bell go. Let's finish it off with a plank. You know we had to do some core work. You know, forearm plank. Let's go, five, four, three, two. Let's get to work, forearms are down. Shoulders are over the elbows. You know it wouldn't be my circuit without some core work, right? Draw the belly in. Everybody lift up your right foot, hold. This is an option, option, option. You can stay exactly where you are. Maybe you lift up your right knee. Maybe that's your challenge for today. Final 10 seconds, we switch. Stay with me. You know Dane's gonna finish us off strong. We got five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Oh. Shall we? Shall we finish us strong? Let's go. All right, guys. Here we go. Here, keep it bouncing, keep it moving. You know I wouldn't have any any, any other way than any with a two-minute drill. And I love y'all so much. Look at this all-star team. I'm gonna give you a three-minute drill to finish hey. this off at. And in celebration of Juneteenth, June 6th, 19, or excuse me, June the month of 6th, and then day 19. So we're gonna do six burpees and then 19 jumping jacks. Uh, well, these two ladies got me cooked right now. <laughs> but it's gonna be every minute on the minute for three minutes. Your burpee coming down. Add the push-up, hop, stand tall. Your body weight option is just to step back. Do the push-up from the knees. S step, stand up tall. Then we'll finish off old school, 19 jumping jacks. We'll hey, hold that squat jacks. until the next minute. Are we ready, y'all? Yeah. I know you ain't home. Say yes. Your yeah. three-minute E-mom starts in three, two, and one. So start with us. We'll start with one burpee. Up tall. Come down for two. Up tall. Here's three, breathe. Don't sprint the marathon yet, we're halfway there. Number four, again, come along with us. Here's five. Now we're gonna go right to 19 jumping jacks. 619, Juneteenth. Let's rock it here, here we go. One, two, three, four, Woo. nice. Five, six, all the way overhead. Nine, ten. Good, finish it out here. Two, three, four, five, 16, 17, 18, 19, hold this squat. All right, so you've done one round to half. You got two more minutes. You can stay along with us. You can move a little slower, you can move a little faster, but hold this squat. All these are all callbacks to everything you experienced with Boogie, with uh, Nikki, and with Robin all together. We go back in three, two, one, six burpees. Now again, this is where I want you to find your own tempo. You can stay with us, you can choose to discover a little bit more challenge with yourself with a little bit pacing, a little faster. Or you can take any option you want, but keep moving down and up. We're gonna work on this last one. Coming up, there's six. Here's your jumping jacks. One, two, three, way to go. Four, five, stay in it. Six, seven, eight, you're doing great. Nine, ten, nine more. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on. Five, four, Three, two, one, hold that squat. I've got four more. It's about 20 Happy seconds right there. <laughs> I love it. 
It's called we finish what we start. We finish what we started. We started together, we're gonna end together. Give me your right. best effort. Oh, we're gonna okay. give you yours. All right, give you ours, we're gonna give you yours. Woo. Oh, I guess I'm out of breath. But we got this in three, Woo. two, one, let's do it. Coming down, drive it up. Here's two. Commit to the end. Commit to yourself, right here, right now. Three in, three to go. Down, up, there's four. Here, there's your five. Last one, we go to jumping jacks. Down, here we go. 19, one, two, three, stay in it. Woo. Five, there's no doubt here. This is all confidence. We're okay, you're okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold that squat. Now every set, every minute, we actually moved a little faster here, so it means we hold this squat longer. But sometimes the hardest thing we ask you to do is be strong through stillness. And when you can't go and dig deeper, we ask you, come a little lower. Yeah. Hang in there. We're almost home. Chin, chest, eyes up. Smile for three, two, one, up tall. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I say. Celebration, congratulations. Let's cool down, shall we? Do me a favor. Uh, You're gonna take a lateral lunge stepping out to your right side, right here, and just hinge at the hips. We're gonna take a little half bind. You're gonna take your right hand, bring it behind, and try to tilt your eyes to the sky. You should feel hip flexor, a little rotator cuff. If this is not comfortable for you, keep that hand on that right thigh. Good, I want you to release it. You're gonna bring that right knee down. We're gonna go to an active hip flexor hamstring. So move that left leg a little out further than you normally would. Press the hip forward, inhale. Open up the lungs, open up the chest. Exhale back, and you tilt your toe up and just round the spine, drop the head. Hamstring on the left side. Let's do that one more time. Press, maybe put your hand on your heart. Feel your heart rate come down. Round the spine. Lengthen out the left leg. Again, drop the head down, take one big inhale. You're gonna bring both knees down to the ground. Push your butt back, find yourself in child's pose. You're gonna reach your hands over to the right side. Now this should feel amazing through the rib cage, the intercostals, the obliques. Everything that these three ladies behind me got you all sweaty and strong with. <laughs> We're just gonna rinse it out. You're gonna work yourself over to the left side. I use that idea a lot when we get to our cool down, is that we're rinsing out our last 30 minutes of work. Maybe you do this at the end of the day to rinse out your day. Think about that as you work. So going, what are you rinsing out right now? Good, you're gonna work yourself up. That left knee stays down, right knee is up. You know this already, you know this how we work. Press forward through the hip flexor. Do another shelf check, hand goes on the heart. Slow down a little bit more. Yeah, roll yourself back, pull the toe up, hands come down to the ground. If you feel a little unsteady and unstable, there's a little balance required in this. You can always anchor yourself with the fingertips on the ground. Chin, chest, eyes up. One more time, press through the hip flexor. Again, proud moment that you got through it. You get to the finish line. You started a task and you ended a task. There's something to be said for that. Push yourself back. And you did it in a workout unlike any other that we've been able to bring to you. And I tell you what, it's one thing coaching the workout and then doing the workout and then coaching the workout again. <laughs> but we all got through it together. Last part, I want you to stand up nice and tall, going over to your left side. Again, working through that lateral lunge. If you'd like to take that half bind, you're gonna take that left hand behind the lower part of your back, tilt your eyes up to the sky. Maybe you press the back of that hand against your lower back, again, doesn't feel great on your shoulder, on that rotator cuff. And then everybody's like, oh, it feels great. Good, you're gonna release. Press down, tall. Let's take one inhalation, exhalation. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Shake your body no, because you said no to excuses. You said no to not giving up. Shake your body yes. You said yes to pressing play, yes to that one rep, even though you wanted to say no. I know, I know. <laughs> and then roll it up one vertebrae at a time. 
And guys, this is such a special workout that we brought to you, and it's such a special way we get to end it, but we end it off anytime I get to work with you with two claps in the Ric Flair. So nice and loud and bright at home, nice and loud in the studio. Give me two claps in the Ric Flair in three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Nicely done. Way to go, we yeah! are. Oh my God. Come uh, on, everybody so come on up. Wow, dripping sweat. I had a realization in the middle of the workout. When you bring a bunch of professional trainers together and you say, you've got four, you've got six minutes, they just try to get all 30 minutes into, into their six minutes, right? You just did like four 30 minute workouts. <laughs> Thank you. I just got to say thank you. It is so nice to be here with you, to celebrate the day with you, and just to be together as a family today. It really is. You know, J.D., you, you thank us, but uh, again, uh, a lot of things goes out for you to being here with us. And the common denominator that we all share is fitness. Fitness is our mechanism. Fitness is, sweat is our language. Yeah. You know, so sweat is our love language. And when we think about what this day means in Juneteenth, it's a celebration. We celebrated today with sweat. But just like your health and fitness routine, if it's just one time, you know, we can't really make progress on our body. Same thing here. We have to do the work. If this is just one day that we just have this conversation or that we're here, then, you know, then are we making progress here? So think about that as far as what we do, the work, and it has to be consistent. Like the work you do with your body, your mind, and your soul, this has to be consistent. So continue to do the work. Yeah, I think that's awesome. And I definitely want to let everyone know that the way that we're able to work out every day and celebrate our bodies every day, it's one step at a time. We don't need to take it all on today or tomorrow, but each choice we make every day to be a better country and a better society, I think is a win for all of us. So we love you guys. Wow. Absolutely. That was good. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate I, it. I, I, before we started today, I got a little emotional. It's, it's been an emotional year. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I know I speak for all of us, JD, the DB fam, the DB community, just thank you for recognizing this moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for recognizing this moment because that's how we're gonna continue to come together and grow as a country and as people. So I thank you, I thank you, I thank yeah. you. I thank you. I'll double down and then thank you to, again, everybody that you guys don't see behind the camera for allowing us to do this kind of workout. So thank you to all the special people that are behind here making this moment happen for you and us. I, I love what Nikki said because I think, I think every single one of us knows the power of achieving a thing together, right? We know that we are making more progress in our health and our fitness because we're doing it together because we have each other to lean on. And I think the same thing goes for every bit of progress we want to make in our lives. It can be made better together. It can be made better one day at a time. So thank you for being here. Saturday is Juneteenth. I want you to think just a little bit about what that means in terms of the progress that we've made and then also the progress that we want to make to be the people that we know we can be. That's what it's all about. We love you guys. Thanks for celebrating with us. We'll see you on Monday.